In a bid to eradicate the HIV and AIDS disease, Zimbabwe has become the first African nation to endorse the inoculation of a HIV and AIDS prevention drug to its people. After years of critical uh, clinical trials in several African countries, Zimbabwe has taken the lead in rolling the injection uh, carbocravil drug, which is believed to be more efficient and uh, effective than earlier produced HIV AIDS drug. Researchers intend to make the drug available to its eligible users with this landmark achievement. Here's more details of that in this report. Clinical trials for Cabotegravir began in 2016 in seven sub-Saharan African countries. 3,200 participants were enrolled. 800 of them were in Zimbabwe. Our results show that um, Cabotegravir injection was superior, works better than a drug which always, which also works very well. This was an injection, so it fo follows that sometimes with pills you forget, but in injection you, does, you don't forget. So it was found to be superior. Cabotegravir is a preventive medication that works by inhibiting the HIV virus from attaching to host cells and reproducing itself in the human body. Unlike existing tablet medications that need to be taken daily, it's injectable and taken once every eight weeks. With the drug now registered, researchers want it to be made available within reach of the groups at the highest risk. We really want adolescent girls and young women, other women and then other populations to access this, uh, um, this product. The cost, as of now, I can't tell you the dollar figure but it is prohibitive. So we need, uh, as, uh, as policymakers, as uh, governments in sub-Saharan Africa, we need to work with the manufacturers of uh, uh, Cabotegravia, long-acting injectable, so that maybe they waive our patents, I don't know, or they make it um, uh, affordable to us here in sub-Saharan Africa. HIV AIDS remains one of the most serious health concerns for Zimbabwe. The National AIDS Council says over 23,000 new infections were recorded in 2021. According to UNICEF, one-third of new infections in the country are amongst people aged between 15 and 24.